G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I'm doing a comparison video between the Nightcore P10iX and its bigger brother, the P20iX. Let's check them out. All right, so first things first, these two holsters are the only difference in accessories that you will get. So I haven't bothered to uh, show all the different accessories. You will get a pocket clip, lanyard, charger, battery, and holster. Now, let's cover the differences in holsters first. So the P20iX, which I believe is the older model. I, I know it's counterintuitive because P20, P10, so 20 is after 10, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the P20iX came out first and then they made a slimmer, more pocketable uh, P10iX. So if I'm incorrect, someone please correct me, but I do believe that's how it went down. Anyway, difference in holsters. So the P20iX has this quick draw holster. Okay, so it's they're both exactly the same in terms of how they fit on the belt. They've got these little notches here that can move one up or one down, meaning you can adjust the uh, distance for where, where, wherever your belt is. These notches are great because they catch on to the belt. So when you put, well, for this one in particular, when you pull it up, you're not going to pull the holster out of the belt. Whereas the P20iX has a much easier, in my opinion, uh, draw. So all you do is if it's on notched on your belt like that, and I'm facing that way, all you do is you push forward, bang, like that. So you push it forward, it comes out, ready to go, and then to put it back in, you just place the head in first, and then pull it back, and it clips on. Really, really nice holster, very, very useful, very practical, very secure, but also easy to draw. So that would be my preference in holsters. Now the P10iX, uh, because it is a bit thinner, it doesn't, it, it's, it, it wouldn't fit in this properly, in this holster properly. So this one has just a, an in and out draw. So you got to pull it up. Now, still easy to, to pull up. It's not much of a difference. It's just a personal preference, really. My preference would definitely be the, out the front, bang, like that. Whereas the 10iX is just pull up. All right, so these are the two holsters without the lights in them. Very, very cool. Uh, now, oh, so this one's called the NTH10 holster, and this one is the NTH20 holster. All right, I will put these to one side. Now, the other thing is the pocket clip. So this is the pocket clip that you'll get for both lights. Now, on the P10iX, you have three spots to put it on. You can put it in the lower spot, the middle, or the higher spot. You can put it lens down or lens up, doesn't matter. It can go on any one. P20iX, you have two spots, one there and one there. Again, lens down or lens up, it doesn't matter. But for the, uh, for the purposes of the comparison video, I will leave the pocket clip off so we can just see the bare lights. All right, so let's take a look at both of these up close, see how they go against each other. We'll start at the head. So both of them have uh, quad LEDs. They both have the exact same LED setup. The only difference is if you can see there, the P20iX's LEDs are embedded further down than in the P10iX, and the P20iX has a larger head. So you would imagine what that's going to do is it's going to give the P20iX some more throw, some more candela. It's going to probably give a better spread as well of light, uh, because as you can see, look at this tiny head on the P10iX compared to the P20. But other than that, there's not much of a difference between these lights. If you haven't already noticed, there is uh, glass breaking beads on the P20iX and there is none on the P10iX. However, they both have a relatively uh, aggressive strike bezel. I love the, the glass breaking beads on the 20iX. I think any light that has a strike bezel should have glass breaking beads. Honestly, how much does it cost to put glass breaking beads on? And it's such a great additive and you never know when you'll need them. And I just think, why not? Chuck them on. Now, if we're just looking at both the heads here, you can see the difference in styles and sizes. So the P20iX is a lot thicker. Well, not a lot, but it is, it is relatively thicker. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be heavier, but we'll test that. And the heat sinks basically look the same. To be honest, 
there's not much in it when it comes to heat sinks with these two. Uh, the P20iX will step down uh, after the P10iX. So the P, I sh what I should have said is the P10iX will step down before the P20iX on turbo. And I saw that last night during the night shots. But apart from that, the uh, it's they're basically the same light. So look, if you wanted a more powerful, sorry, I shouldn't say more powerful. They're both rated at 4,000 lumens, okay? But if you wanted more candela and a bit better spread of light and more runtime, then the P20iX will be the one for you. However, you will be sacrificing a slimline light. See, the uh, the head on the P20iX is, is rather big. Uh, so pocketability, you're going to sacrifice slightly. But if you want a light that's kind of just for, you know, momentary blindness, uh, but other than that, you're, you're only going to use it on low outputs, then the P10iX is going to do just fine because it's very, very slim. And uh, if you're not going to need those sustained uh, outputs on, on high level, then there's no need to upgrade to the P20iX. Now, if we just look at tail caps here, identical. You've got your primary switches and your mode buttons. So they both have very, very uh, sensitive, responsive primary switches for momentary and constant on, and they both have very sensitive uh, mode buttons for instant strobe, as well as changing your outputs. So let's go over the UI. The UI is exactly the same in both of these lights. Let's just see what mode they're on. Okay, so they're both in tactical mode. Now what tactical mode means is that they both will start in turbo mode, which is 4,000 lumens. But if you just see that on the P20iX, you can see more of a centralized hotspot. Now, if I go to the P10iX, it's a lot softer in terms of hotspot. Why is that? Because of the size of the head, the depth of the LEDs, and therefore the candela difference. So in tactical mode, uh, these lights will always start in your 4,000 lumen turbo. So it doesn't matter if I bring it down and bring it down to whatever output, when I turn it off, turn it back on, 4,000 lumens each. But it's daily mode that uh, will offer you more outputs because in tactical mode, you will get 4,000, then you'll step down to, I believe it's 850, step down to uh, 300, step down to 50, and then back up to 4,000. Whereas in daily mode, so now I'm gonna switch it to daily mode, bit of a headache, but what you have to do is press and hold the mode button, which is gonna strobe, and then turn the tail cap whilst strobing. Strobe, tail turn, and then it flashes, turn back. Now you are in daily mode. Okay. Strobe, turn, one flash means daily mode, turn back, now you're in daily mode. So tactical mode will cycle down from turbo, daily mode will just cycle up from whatever output you last left it in. Now these lights have exact same outputs. So let's get them both to the lowest output. Okay, so both of these are now on your two lumen output and the run times are gonna be exactly the same as well. Now, cycling up, you've got 50 lumens. Again, 300 lumens. Again, 850. Again, 1700. And then to cycle again, it'll go straight down to your two lumen output again. So no turbo in the cycle in daily mode. But the way you get to turbo, and I love this about these lights, the way you get to turbo is while the light is on, so right now I'm in the 50 lumen output, while the light is on, press and hold the mode button and you get your momentary turbo. As soon as you let go, straight back to the last output. Now that is a brilliant uh, characteristic of a UI. And I'll tell you why, because we're not always gonna want turbo. In fact, we're rarely probably gonna want turbo. So in when you're actually using this light in an application, most applications, you're gonna have it on a lowish mode, you're gonna be reading something or you're gonna be looking around. And then if you need that momentary of blasting light, you've got the mode button to press and hold, it blasts and then you're good to go. You've seen what you need to see, you let it go straight back to your last output no dramas at all. That is a really, really cool characteristic and they both share it. In daily mode, turbo is just momentary, that's it. But also from off, if you press and hold the mode button, it goes, whoa, okay, 
it goes in a strobe. That was brutal. Uh, I'm just recovering for a second from that because that was brutal. I should not have been looking at the wall. Um, so basically, you do have your instant turbo. and So you do have your instant strobe from off and you do have your instant uh, turbo from on. All right. So what is the real difference between these two lights? Honestly, because of the size of the head, it is the Candela rating. So Candela in the P20iX is 12,200 with a max distance of 220 meters. Candela in the P10iX is 6,250 with a max distance of 158 meters. That's all. That's the only difference between these two lights. They both have onboard charging here and here with USB-C charging. They both have the same body. They both take uh, your 21700 batteries. So I'll just pull the, one of the batteries out, but they're identical. Both have 5,000 milliamp, 21700 proprietary uh, Nightcore 21700 batteries. All right. And uh, I don't think I mentioned 3.6 volts there. So... These lights are identical except for the candela rating. And in the night shots, you will see uh, the difference between not only the output, because it actually looks like the P20iX is brighter, but it's not. They're both putting out the same amount of lumens. It's just that due to the light intensity of the P20iX, wherever it's pointing and wherever you're seeing it, the hotspot in particular, it looks brighter because of the intensity um, that is that is uh, directed into into that area. Whereas with the P10iX, it is just much more floody, uh, less candela, which makes it more floody. All right, let's measure them and let's weigh them. So the P10iX comes in at 13 and a half centimeters exactly from head to tail clicky. The P20iX comes in at 14 centimeters from head to tail clicky. So standing them next to each other, they are half a centimeter difference. P20iX is half a centimeter taller. The head width with the P10iX is two and a half, oh no, 2.7 centimeters. Head width of P20iX is three centimeters. Body width, of the P10iX is 2.4 centimeters, is 2.5 centimeters, sorry. And the body width of the P20iX is also 2.5. And I'm guessing the tail caps will be the same, which is 2.7 over here, P20, and 2.7 as well. So major difference is just in the, in the width of the face and the height, that's it. Now, what do we think? I, I'm gonna go ahead and guess the P20iX is heavier, but maybe not by much. So P20iX, no pocket clip, but battery, 191.58 grams. P10iX, 156.02. Wow, that, I didn't expect that. That's almost 40 grams difference. So it, I mean, it really doesn't feel like the P20iX weighs 40 grams more or just under 40 grams more, but scales don't lie. All right, let's see how they do outside and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. Okay, here we go. P20iX. P10iX. P20iX. P10iX. 20iX, 10iX. Not much of a difference. 20iX, 10iX. Okay, that's actually probably the best one. P20iX, it can see a lot further. P10iX, same spread but less distance, much less distance. Oh, and a massive step down already. Oh, same with the P20iX. Okay, <laughs> the step downs are crazy. All right, turn it off. Just give it one second. All right, 20iX, 10iX. 20iX, 10iX. 20, 10, 20, 10. Yeah, more distance, more candela. Same spread, but more candela with the 20. 20iX 20 here, 10iX here. 20 and 10. Let's see them on strobe. Uh, strobe, that's the 20. That's the 10. 20, 10. 20iX, 10iX. Both on turbo, by the way. I don't think I said that. Both on turbo. 20. 10, 20, 10. 
So the 20 is definitely going to be more blinding when you're on the receiving end of it, just because of the candela gets it gets it in your eyes with a lot more intensity. But same lumens and seemingly same spread. 10, 20. Oh, look at that step down again. Yeah, there. They're struggling to sustain that. Fair enough. It's a lot of light coming out of that small head on both of them. Okay, that's good. So the 10iX has stepped down heavily. The 20 is still going, well, not going strong, but stronger than the 10. 20, 10, 20, 10. So that's good to know. 20 has a larger head, more sustainable uh, light. See ya. So as I did mention, the P20iX has a better run time, not by much, probably by about 30 seconds or so. But you, you know, you got to expect that when, uh, look at this little head on the P, P10iX. It still puts out 4,000 friggin' lumens and it's just a small, small head. So you got to give the credit to the P10iX to pump out that much uh, light with this tiny head is pretty impressive. Uh, but the P20iX just has so much more light intensity that it just, it looks like a brighter, brighter light. It looks like it's putting out more lumens when it's not. Now, this is the big one. So you can get both of these lights from lightshop.com.au. I will link both of them individually and I will link discount codes. However, this is where it's going to make or break uh, your decision. So the P10iX, brand new from Lightshop, comes in at $179 or 180 bucks, right? The P20iX comes in at 280 bucks. So there is a $100 difference between these two lights. Very, very important. And that is going to play a massive role in which one you buy. So let's just cover the differences. You've got half a centimeter taller in the P20iX. You've got, I think it was half a centimeter larger in the face. You've got almost 40 grams heavier. You've got the same output, but you've got almost double the candela in the P20iX. And you've got a, uh, a longer runtime by about 30 seconds or 20 seconds on turbo with the P20iX. All the other runtimes are identical. So is that worth the extra $100? Some may say yes, some may say no. For me, if, if I had to choose, and I'm going to choose, I would... Uh, I'm going to go the P10iX. Now, I'm going to go the P10iX not just for the price, but also for the slimline look and the feel and uh, the pocketability because this is much more pocketable than the P20iX. Not by a great deal, but by enough for me to make the decision to get the P10 over the P20iX. I do wish that the P10iX had the glass breaking beads. So the only thing, well, seriously, the only two things actually... The only two things that would make me second guess whether to get the P20 or the P10iX would be the glass breaking beads and the light intensity, the candela. All right, I'd love to know which one you guys chose if you've uh, bought one or which one you are going to choose if you want to buy one. These lights do make great, great floodlights, and I, I really mean that they make great floodlights. They have such an amazing spread of light on them. Uh, I know it doesn't look like here, but you saw in the night shots, it just completely fills up the camera's uh, angle. So they are really, really incredible floodlights. And if you are in the market for a pocketable floodlight, then do not look further than the P10iX or the P20iX because they make great, great floodlights in a very pocketable form. All right, I hope you enjoyed the review. Until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.